Well, we're so glad you're still with us on Colorado and Company. Well, someone who is passionate about music, I really appreciate those who work hard to share music with others. Well, bringing music to life, the instrument drive, and they need your help right now. They're asking for your help in putting instruments in the hands of deserving students. With me this morning is Executive Steve, Executive Director Steve Blatt, and from Rocky Mountain Music Repair, Brian Stevenson. Welcome to the show, the both thank of you. you. Yeah, thank you. Well, Steve, I am a fan of this program. I was just telling you that uh, I never knew that I had a love for instruments until I actually held one, and I knew that was my calling. I wanted to play the guitar. How does the Bringing Music to Life campaign work? Four different parts. Uh, the first part, we have to collect the instruments, and we're doing that starting today okay. through the, uh, the 19th of March. We have all sorts of drop-off locations all over the state and people can find those at our website. Mm -hmm. And the next important phase is repairing those instruments. We're committed to giving kids only instruments that are in excellent playable condition so they don't get frustrated, so they fall in love with music the way you fell in love with music. Absolutely, even hearing you say that is so exciting. And I mean, music, once you've got the music bug, it's something that you wanna do the rest of your life. Now, for people who may have instruments sitting at home, they don't use, these are the kind of instruments instruments you need and people to donate, right? Right. We, we ask for gently used instruments. Okay. Although, as you'll see, some of them aren't so gently used, but they still work because <laughs> we have people like Brian yeah. and our other repair partners who, uh, who put them back into great shape. That's wonderful. Now, Brian, you do awesome work here. Rocky yeah. Mountain Music Repair refurbishes the donated instruments, and you actually have a demonstration for us. I'm so intrigued by yeah, this. Yeah, quick demonstration. So we kind of wanted to show um, the condition the instruments come into us. So okay. um, obviously, this is a really easy one to see that, you know, it's it's broken some parts and it's got some dents and dings. And yeah. in here is also 30 years worth of junk and spit and things like that. You know, I don't want to gross you out like your first uh, guest, but you know, so part of what we do is getting all that cleaned out. We need to make sure things as clean as possible, as repaired as possible. And on the woodwind side, things can be a little more invisible. Like it looks like a saxophone still, but we've got like corks up here that are broken on it. And then if we like pull off like one of the pads on the bottom here really quick, I'll show you. This is what the pads look like. Pads are just leather okay. and they can wear out over time. Can they really? Okay. And so this is what a pad on an old horn looks like. It's all, it's really dry, it's crusty, it has junk all over it. And we want to replace it and make sure that we get a really good pad on here. They're just gaskets that help the horn keep the air in and play the correct notes. So we do a lot of the pad work, dent work, cork work, things like that to get the horns up and playable again. Um, because we want to make sure that they give the kid the best opportunity to succeed in music. And all this, I would imagine, improves the sound, improves everything. Sure. That is so yeah. neat that you get to do that. And by the way, it ends up looking like this over here. I mean, this looks wonderful. Yeah, you know, I mean, we don't worry about the, um, the, you know, pristine little tiny like scuffs and little dings, but we want to make sure that everything is 100% playable for the kids to make sure that they can get the right notes, that they don't feel like it's them that's the problem if they're having an issue, or they, they always feel it's like them, but we want to make sure the instruments give them the best opportunity possible. Oh, that is so inspiring you too. Okay, well Rocky Mountain Music Repair is a truly dedicated to the Bringing Music to Life campaign. Why is that? Well, my wife and I who own the shop, we were both band directors before we um, opened a repair shop, and we kind of figured out that the reason that kids weren't staying in band had nothing to do with the kids or the teachers that are doing a great job out there. A lot of times it was the instrument and the kids weren't given the correct things to play. And we figured out that the best way that we could help the kids was giving them the best quality instruments in their hands to play at all times. And so that's where our dedication is to make sure the kids have the right horns. Well, I commend you and your wife for doing such tremendous work. And oh my God, being a band director must have been so much fun. Well, Steve, two questions. How does someone donate an instrument? And for someone who may be needing one, how do they get one? Right. Go to the website, which is uh, bringmusic.org, and you'll see 16 different locations all over the state. Some in the Front Range also have one on the Western Slope. And drop off your instrument anytime today through the 19th. Okay, through we'll the 19th. We'll pick them up, take them to our repair partners, uh, principally the people at Rocky Mountain Music Repair. Okay. And then the next important step is for schools that need instruments, S Title I schools that have a high proportion of kids on free and reduced cost lunch, okay. they can apply online. Again, at the website, there's an online application and uh, we'll look those over and try to match up their needs with what we have. 
I love this. Well, music is my happiness, and if we can help some kiddos out there find that happiness, we are in for sure this morning. Thank you both for being with us today. Great work that the both of you do, and here's more info on how you can donate or, of course, be a part of this great organization. The Bringing Music to Life Instrument Drive is going on right now, and remember, it's all the way through March the 19th. Find a donation site near you and learn more online. That website is bringmusic.org.